Welcome to my basic mechanical engineering playlist. Today I am going to discuss about constant temperature process or it is called as isothermal process also or sometimes it is called as hyperbolic process. So let's see first of all the outlines of the session. Relation between pressure volume and temperature, then work done, then change in internal energy, then heat transfer and at last change in enthalpy. So let's see one by one all this term. Consider the gas is filled in a cylinder with movable piston as shown in figure A. So I am going to draw the figure A. So first of all this is the cylinder in which this one is the piston and note down over here this piston is the movable piston. This space is filled with the gas and this gas is considered as a system. Now let's say this is the figure A. Now I am going to draw the PV diagram to represent the state of this gas. So this is the pressure versus volume diagram and let's say the initial state of the gas is here and this is state 1. So the corresponding pressure is P1 and corresponding volume is V1. Let's say it is the figure B. Now next, when heat is supplied to this gas, its volume and pressure change as shown in figure A and figure B. So let's see first of all the effect of this heat supplied in figure A. So here you can say the volume is change and due to that there will be the effect on the pressure also. Let's say this is the state 2 on the PV diagram for this gas and the corresponding pressure is P2 and corresponding volume is V2. And so that you can say this 1 2 process is known as the constant temperature process. And below this line on the PV diagram the area represent as work done during the constant temperature process 1 2. Now first topic relation between pressure volume and temperature for the constant temperature process. Now as you know that the general gas equation PV upon T is equal to constant and so that I can say for the state 1 P1 V1 upon T1 is equal to for state 2 P2 V2 upon T2. Now here you know that temperature is constant and so that you can say T1 is equal to T2. So it will be cancelled on both sides. So the remaining term is P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. So make a box. So this is your first answer relation between pressure volume and temperature during the constant temperature process. Now next one work done. Now as you know that work done W is equal to integration of PdV during the process 1 2. Now here you know that the pressure is also vary during the process 1 to 2. So you can take as a constant and at the same time volume is also change. You know that during the constant temperature process P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 is equal to constant and so that I can say PV is equal to P1 V1 is equal to constant. So from this equation you can say pressure is equal to P1 V1 upon V. Now I can put this value in this equation. So P1 V1 upon V into dV. Now you know that P1 V1 that is equal to constant. So I can take P1 V1 outside of this integration and the remaining term is 1 upon V into dV. Now you know that the integration of 1 upon V that is ln V. So P1 V1 as it is and this is ln V. The limit is 1 to 2 as it is. Now next. This is the previous slide. Up to here we have discussed. Now you can put the limit. So P1 V1 as it is. And in bracket ln V2 minus ln V1. Now once again P1 V1 as it is. And here you can say ln V2 by V1. So this is the equation for the work done during the constant temperature process. Now next, change in internal energy. Now you know that du is equal to 
MCV integration of dt. Now here the temperature is constant and so that you can say dt is equal to 0 and so that du is equal to 0. So make a box. Now the next term, heat transfer during the constant temperature process. According to the first law of thermodynamics, you can say Q is equal to W plus DU. Now, as you know that W is equal to P1 V1 ln V2 upon V1 plus DU is equal to 0. So, you can say Q is equal to P1 V1 ln V2 by V1 and make a box. So, this is your next answer. Now, the last one, change in enthalpy. DH, that is a change in enthalpy, that is MCPT2 minus T1. And this equation already we have derived in case of the constant volume process and constant pressure process. So, if you want to see, then you can refer my earlier video of constant volume process and constant pressure process. So, so far we have derived the different five terms for the constant temperature process. If you have any doubt, then you can raise your question in the comment box. I will be back. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video.